Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, today I've come back to Highbridge uh, caravans, campers, uh, except this time I'm not in the village of Highbridge in Somerset. Uh, I've come down to Exeter. Um, well, it's just a little bit south of Exeter, actually. Uh, and I'm specifically coming to have a look at camper vans. Um, the previous two videos, I've sort of concentrated on motorhomes, and uh, but I still haven't made up, made up my mind as to which, which way I want to go. But I am sort of leaning towards a camper van and a bespoke build, you know, so buy a, a panel van and have it converted. That's the way I'm going at the moment. But I just thought I'd come here and have a look to see what is on offer for camper vans coming from factories. So let's go and have a look. Plenty of choice to look at. Okay, so this is a uh, globe car based on a long wheelbase uh, Fiat Ducato. And uh, the entrance is on the wrong side, but you know, there we go. So you have your usual nice layout there. Well, there's no sort of media unit unless it's underneath that. It's probably underneath that. Um, I'm just wondering if there's like a media, oops, media unit under here or something. I don't know. Possibly. And uh, swivel seats. Table with two more belted seats. And then here we've got your cooker and sink. So you've got a two burner. There are various drawers underneath. I don't know how these open. There must be a catch or something. Oh, well, plenty of drawer space under there. Another cupboard up here, and then you have a shower unit. With a cassette toilet by the look of it, or a toilet, yeah, and there's a little sink. Your fridge down here. Wardrobe space in there and a fixed bed and having the fixed bed is the thing that I really want but you can see from here there's very little room in your inner camper van like this compared to some of the motorhomes I've seen so I get why people go for motorhomes rather than camper vans However, I'm sure something like this would be absolutely fine for me, but not this particular one because it's way too expensive. So I had comments in the last uh, video and um, somebody asked me how much time I was likely to be spending touring in Europe. Well, you can only spend 90 days at a time out of every 180 days. So I'd be spending as much time in the UK as I would in Europe. In, pr in fact, probably two thirds of the time in the UK, uh, Ireland, um, th than I would be in the UK, um, or would be in Europe, should I say. And some of my favorite places are, are like Cornwall and North Wales. And, and so a camper van being a lot narrower than your standard motorhome would be better for negotiating the roads in these places. Uh, I mean, even just driving here and seeing motorhomes coming, tr driving towards me, I mean, the, the wing mirrors stick out so far that, you know, you, you take up most of some of the lanes in, in, in Cornwall. But um, 
I, I get it for, for touring uh, in, in Europe where you're going to have um, probably wider roads. But then, you see, I'm not one for, for heading down the motorway in, in Europe anyway. I'm going to be wanting to keep off the auto routes and the like. Anyway, let's go and have a look at some other stuff. So here we have an auto trail V-line. Swivel seats. Another Fiat Ducato. And then you have a bench seat right opposite the sliding door, which I like that idea. That's the kind of thing I'm, I would, I would like, you know, so that you can have a sliding door open in the morning and enjoy your coffee and croissant. And then. Plenty of cupboard space across the top. Fixed bed at the back. You have two burner and a sink. And then there's uh, looks like an oven down there and a fridge by the look of it there. Let's close these down. Needs a clean. 240 power sockets. And then the space under there for whatever. And then you've got your bed. Looks like you've got your Truma heating controls there, light switches. What's that? Oops, not sure. Oh, it's just part of a shelf. That look of it. And you've got a fan up there. And then you've got a big skylight, bringing plenty of light in. Nope, I think that's broken. So I quite like that. It's um, not a bad layout. It seems to have a bit more space than the Globe car that I just looked at. A little bit more aisle space along here. So, uh, yeah, that's quite nice. There's no price on it. And uh, it obviously needs a clean. It hasn't been cleaned out yet, so it's probably fairly new here. Let's move on. Now here we have a Wiensberg at 49,000. And it's very much like the, that globe car we just looked at. In fact, very, very similar. Very similar layout. Kitchen's a little bit different, but very similar. So here we have an auto sleeper, and you know last week I was raving on about uh, that Broadway FB. Well, this is like a camper van version of that FB. So in the front here, usual swivel seats. Okay, then we have a nice bench seat, which was really like the one in the um, in the Broadway. And uh, very comfortable. You've got a nice kitchen area with a worktop that it's a workspace. Loads of cupboards. You've got a triple hob and a combined grill, an oven. Big drawer for pots and pans, etc. etc. You've got your microwave or bread bin, your controls up there. 
Nice skylight. Cupboards on either side, overhead cupboards. Plenty of space in there. And then we have here a wardrobe. Looks like it might have a Wi-Fi unit. So somewhere to hang some space. We've got a table leg support. We have below that a fridge, decent sized fridge with a, a nice, with a freezer compartment. Then we have a French bed layout. So that bed is wide enough, certainly for myself and a partner with uh, skylight, more cupboard space, tambo door with a nice wash space. So you've got cassette toilet down there, little sink, and the shower. All fits in nicely. More cupboard space for, oh look, even get wine glasses. And more cupboard space down there. So I like this. This is a, a nice fan. It's um, quite spacious, especially with the living area. Uh, it's um, 50, 55,000 pounds. So it's more than I want to pay, but it's, um, it's very nice. So there we go. Um, there's a few vans. There's quite a lot of vans here. Most of them out of my price range, I have to say. Uh, but they are sort of, well, say nearly new. Now, this seems to be a bit of a bone of contention because they've got very low mileage. Um, the one back over here, the um, auto sleeper, uh, Kingham, for instance, the one that I, I really liked, this one here, it's 55,000 pounds. It's on a 17 plate and someone would say, well, a 17 plate isn't a new vehicle, but it's only done 10,200 miles, you know? So it's like new because it's only done the mileage, but then it's been sat around since 2017. So I don't know. Uh, so most of them are out of my price range, but it's nice to see the ones that uh, have got the fixed beds in the back because as I've said before, I really don't want to be taking a bed down in the morning and then having to put it back up in the evening. It's a bit too much of a faff. And these ones that have got like the two, ben two bench seats at the back, for me, that's just a waste of space. You know, if there's just going to be two of us traveling, you've got all that seating space with just two of us. You know, okay, you could, you could lay out and watch TV, you know, but... But uh, no, that's not, not what I'm after. Um, so I'm still thinking that the, uh, buy, about buying a, a panel van, a second-hand panel van, spending 10 to 12,000, seeing if I can get something with lower mileage and a lower year, uh, good condition, and then have it converted. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Um, if you were in my position and you had sort of 40 grand, mm, pushing it to 45 maybe to spend, what would you do? Would you look for a, a factory built vehicle uh, or would you be looking at having a bespoke design and having uh, building your own or having somebody else build it for you? Let me know in the comments below. But. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been good to see. And uh, I've still got some thinking to do. Because as I said before, I'm not one to rush into uh, 
spending that kind of money. So anyway, look, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you to all the, the new subscribers. See, I, about a fortnight ago, I started off with 44 subscribers and I think I'm now up to over 260 uh, subscribers. So it's absolutely brilliant. Um, so thank you for, to all the new subscribers and we hope to see you the next time. Until then, happy adventures.